Feel your central equilibrium. Feel the balls of your feet. Allow that to settle in. Relax your legs and your knees. Allow yourself to settle. And reach with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin, open the jade pillow gate. Feel yourself sinking into your feet, into the balls of your feet, but feel the weight spreading throughout the whole foot. At the same time, reaching upward with the crown. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Feel your coccyx dropping down toward the earth. So you're feeling the, the coccyx moving a different direction, the opposite direction from the crown. So there's lengthening your spine, creating space between the vertebrae, relaxing the muscles that support your spine. And push away from the earth and ah, uh, settle in and turn as you're settling in, spiral down. So you're releasing the qua. You're getting sung qua. Relaxing into your, the support of your legs, that yin support of your legs. You feel your body just kind of dropping while at the same time reaching up with the crown. We have these two forces. You feel that the yin chi of the earth coming up through your feet and into your body and feel the yang chi of the heavens coming through the crown down into the body. And reach with your elbows, grounding the arms a bit, feeling Emptying out your shoulders, letting all tension go in the shoulders. Lift with that clavicular notch here, that right there in your collarbone. So you're opening the chest, opening the shoulders as you do that. Point with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence. Feel the whole body as a unit. We're going to do a, uh, an exercise where we're going to be exploring substantiality and where the weight is in the legs. So you're able to fine tune that. And also at the same time, increasing your capacity to hold positions and, and to feel into the, the sung in your legs. So feel the ball of your left foot and set the left knee. So actually, first of all, just notice that right now your weight is 50-50. And feel the balls of both feet. So right now there's both feet are substantial. That's because we're bringing our awareness to them and we are filling. We're filling the, you know, both feet with our awareness, with our intention. And feel the energetic connection that that produces. You're not giving anything away by being double weighted here, by being, you know, having your weight evenly distributed. Now feel the ball of the left foot and set the left knee. And slowly, you're going to sink into that left leg. So you're dropping, but you're, don't do it abruptly, just feel it very slowly as you're passing through that 50-50 point and slowly filling up the left leg till you have about 70%. 
and the left leg. You want to feel yourself vertical. Feel that central equilibrium over your left foot. Now, push up with your left leg. You're coming up and slowly come back to center. So the weight is now 50-50. You distribute it. But notice that we've done a, we've exercised the yang aspect. We're pushing away from the earth now. And there will be still a, an energetic connection if you're feeling the balls of your feet. But notice that the root has diminished somewhat. And perhaps some of the energy flows because we're, we're, by pushing away from the earth, we're starting to disconnect from that yin chi, right? Becoming more and more young. We're pushing up toward the heavens. And we're feeling into that the 50-50 point here, but there's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a different flavor. So now you feel the ball of the right foot. So we're starting to let go of the left foot. We're sinking. Now we're going to sink into the right leg. So we're getting sun kwa, releasing down. So you're sitting down into the right leg. And notice that now you're your right leg is substantial. And notice what happened to your, the chi. Feel the chi in your hands. And notice that by getting more sung into that right leg, that there was an increase in the chi in your hands. Not only the chi, but also the blood flow. Your circulation got really cranked up by doing that. Now you're going to feel the ball of your left foot, set the left knee, and go back and just go to the center. So you're now 50-50 again. And feel, compare that to the feeling of being both yang. Now we're both yin. Both legs are yin. And there's the attraction is more toward the earth now. We're still reaching up with the crown. So there is that yang pole connection there, but we are really moving toward the yin as, as in, in general. Now feel, are you gonna feel that ball of the left foot, set the left knee and sink into the left leg, releasing down into that left leg and feel the energy there, feel the energy up the left side of your body, feel particularly in your left hand. But you also feel, you also feel in your right hand as well. The whole system is, is getting really juiced up right now. Then a push away, so we're exercising that yawn, we're pushing away, coming up and back to center. I feel that connection, feel that connection there, feel the difference in energy as we move more to the young. We push away from the earth. Now we're at 50-50, but there's a different flavor to it. Now we're going to go back the other way. Now we're going to go into the left leg, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and Ah, sink down into the left leg. Get very sung, releasing the qua. You're sitting down in that leg. And feel the, the charge that comes out of that. Feel that, that flow of yin chi just kind of bubbling up and filling your whole body. So one of the things we're doing with this is we are activating the marrow in the bones. Now, a lot of that stuff you're feeling right now is the fact that your marrow, your bone marrow is getting 
highly charged with, with fresh qi. And one of the ideas in Chinese medicine is that as you age, your bone marrow gets stale, turns kind of fatty and yellow and, and icky. And, uh, and so you, uh, you lose your vitality because the bone marrow is where your blood cells and, and lymphocytes get produced. So we want to keep that going. So now going to feel the ball of the right foot and back to center. And feel both feet substantial, both balls substantial, both legs substantial. And feel the effect on the whole system as you do that. So we're exploring now. And in doing this, we're actually creating more of this this bone marrow chi that's, uh, that's filling up. It's kidney chi, but we're feeling it in the bone marrow. You're feeling that the electricity you're feeling in your hands is coming from, from there. That the cells are getting juiced up and they're going to, you know, the blood cells are going throughout the whole body. They're gonna create vitality. They're going to create vitality. They're gonna do repairs. They're going to create uh, enhanced immunity. And I'll feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, and sink into the right claw. So you're loading up that, you're feeling into that 70%. You want to keep your, your central equilibrium as you do that. You're not leaning at all, you're not pushing your butt out to the side. And push away from the earth, coming up, back to center. And feel the chi there. Now just release down into both legs, re release both quads, sung into both qua, and feel into that, feel, the, feel that connection. Now coming up, straight up, and feel that. And straight down, releasing down. So in doing this, we're also learning how to fine tune the Sun Kwa. It's something that you know could take you many years to to develop, but this is a way to kind of fast track that. If it's if the Sun Kwa is a just a byproduct of doing your form, you may you can go buy it for decades without noticing it. But here by putting it under the microscope we are addressing it as something in and of itself and seeing the, the positive effects that Sun Kwa can have on your achievement.